So what we have here are two mongooses and one of our FW32s, which is the new Murloc. And I wanted to demonstrate um, how to encrypt these so that only your specific module will work with the, with the actual firing system. Now, you can clone these. Right now it's currently cloned, so these two are gonna send a signal to that one. Um, to demonstrate that, this module just detected that unit and this module just detected this module. So they're communicating. In order to change the encryption, you need to go to the encryption software and I'll demonstrate that. In order to do that, you'll simply need an RS-45 connection into one of your mongooses and the MF software. So this step of the game, what we're going to do is we're just going to change the encryption code in the firing module and the firing transmitter. So what you're going to need here is you're going to need your RS-45 connection plugged into your mil-spec connector here. You're going to need both units powered on and you're going to need your MF software playing. To do this, you're going to make sure that your code is currently correct. The code that is that that when you when you call an order from us, we're going to send it with that specific code. We're going to ask you what code do you want. You're going to give us a six digit number and I'm going to pre program these things so they're encrypted. If you for some reason want to change that code to something else, this is the step that you're going to use. You're going to go to the setup screen. And you're going to see down here a program code and security code. You're going to make sure that this number matches the numbers that are inside of your modules. Otherwise, the software can't communicate. So that is the code that's currently inside. Anytime you make any changes or mess with the screen, it's going to ask you to shut down and restart. You're not going to go back up to the setup screen, to the network screen, which is here. At the top, click on it. You're going to hit read. It's going to detect the current modules. I always like to start with a firing module before I change the transmitter. So when it finishes its, finishes its scanning, you're going to click on it, it'll turn blue. And then you're going to come over here to the current code. You're going to type in the current code. And you're going to hit write. It'll ask you, are you sure you want to change the security code? We're going to say yes. And it said OK. Now you're going to come here to the second system, which is the transmitter. You're going to click on it. You can make sure that the code is the same. As long as you haven't made any changes, it will be and you're gonna hit right. It'll ask you again, are you sure you wanna make this change? You'll say yes. As soon as it says okay, you're good to go. Now at this step, we're gonna go back to these modules. And as you recall, only one will work with this transmitter. Get up real close so you can see the screen. I'm gonna hit test, module one, and it detected it. Here, I'll hit test, Module one, and it won't detect it. Module not found because they're on two different encryption codes. This is no longer programmed to work with this firing module. 